I'm curious. Uh, I'm talking to Jasper. That's kind of creeping me out. Um, so, I mean, from Schneider to Hollywood, what the hell was that like when it happened? I mean, that must well, have been actually, mind blowing. I went to school in San Francisco, yeah. so I finished high school in Snyder on a Friday and started school in San Francisco on a Monday, and then went to Hollywood from there. So it's been a ever since my graduation from high school has been pretty crazy. Snyder was pretty well known for theater, though. I yeah, mean, it had a really great program. We had a teacher. I mean, a lot of people from Snyder. Powers Booth's from Snyder. There's some younger guys, Kevin Alejandro and Patrick Malone, other people. There's about ten of us that are working actors that are from Snyder. Yeah. I'm curious. You've you've you filmed back in the day with Lonesome Dove. Shot a little bit here. You've been on Friday Night Lights. Also mm -hmm. shot here. How has the Texas TV scene changed? I mean, you've seen it over the decades, basically. Yeah, I mean, Friday Night Lights was a gift. I mean, that was because that one's going to last forever. You know, that 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 one kind of falls in there with Lonesome Dove as far as being just a really great show. And you know, it's all about the writing, really. And um, I think the more Texans that write about where they're from, the, the more you know content we have, really. And um, does that answer your question? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, I'm curious. You've always been a, a proud uh, showcaser of, uh, you know, the cowboy lifestyle. And, I mean, you're always in Lubbock. I mean, you're always doing things for the native Texan as well. What makes you want to do so much for your state and your, your people? I can tell you an honest question is that when I did Lonesome Dove, I, I rode on a horse one day and I rode out there and I was like, you know, you've been spending 10 years trying to be what Hollywood wants you to be. Your, your grandfather's a cowboy, your dad's a cowboy, wants you to be a cowboy. And so my whole being kind of relaxed and from that point on I fell back in love with Texas and you know it's all you know I, I love Texas, I bleed Texas. You know, I'm curious, are you directing anything upcoming? Do you, what's up next for you? I, mean, I have we a movie along the lines of uh, Blair Witch Paranormal Activity. I, I, that I want to make, and uh, I want to do here. It's it's really set in a lot of places, but I'll shoot film, film out in Marfa. Oh wow! And um, then I have a play that I want to take to Broadway that I'm writing. And um, other than that, just my usual craziness out in West Texas. I live out there, you know. Out in Marfa, like way out in Big Ben. Well, I live in Snyder, and I have a place out in Marfa that I go, you know, that, some land out there. But um, yeah, I, I live I live I live in a house my grandparents came in a covered wagon and built. I mean, I. I took, I take Texas. You know, I've lived all over the world, and and it's amazing to me that this now people are figuring out how great Texas is. Don't tell. They should stop telling people though. You're from Richardson, right? Yeah. You know, it's we like should the, stop at Richardson. Well, so, well, somebody opened the gate and told them. I have friends moving from New York, from Ireland here. It's. I mean, you know, Texas is. Um, I you know. I, Back to your thing about Friday Night Lights and all that. I mean, we our stories that we grew up with are so rich because they're in Texas. You know, we we have more happen in one day than most people have in, happen in a lifetime. I love that. Yeah. Well, I'm curious. What's it like being able to to be here at a a real patriotic festival, Stars and Stripes, something that looks at not only America but the people that keep us safe here in America. Yeah, the first responders and so forth. I, it's great. I mean, I'll do anything to to help them. You know, I mean. I, I, they came to me. I mean, I've, I'm like your uh, Dale Ellis of movie. I'm, I'm like a RBI guy. People don't know who I am, really. And that's fine. But then you IMDb me, and you're like, oh, you know, I've been, I've been everywhere. You know, kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm the Dale Ellis. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. If you need a three point shot, bring me in. But um, so you know, if, if I can do anything to help them, I will. And this is a very honorable uh, campaign they're doing. You know, and so and I know that. I was going to bring a friend of mine that actually is a com commander in the Navy, but he couldn't make it. He's, mm. he's a little busy right at the moment. But wow. he, but uh, he he joined the Navy after he saw Top Gun. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. He was a bull rider who joined the Navy. Todd Watkins, Commander Watkins, Captain wow. Watkins. Yeah. And we're showing Top Gun. Is it is it ever weird to see yourself on the big screen? When you're 22 <laughs> and, and you're 51 now, you know it's. <laughs> you know, the worst part about it is when people see you in something. I mean, I've been in this business since I was a teenager. You know, I was in Christine. You know, you weren't even born no, then. No, definitely not. And so, like, you know, people walk up to you and they're like, they see, they just saw you in something and they look at you like. You're, you still got it, though. You have it. You're not doing so good. I'm like, that was 30 years ago, you know. Like, I've had a few, I've had a few hard stops since then. You, know, you look great. I mean, it's you're all, it's not all autographs and sunglasses. <laughs> I think it's the best way to end it. I love it.